Race bodies are a little bit like dogs. They age much faster than people. We had a 2006 Charger body, and it's 2014 today, and it'll be the 2015 race season before this body sees the track. When you put that together, it was time. One of the things we're really proud of is the fact that it is clearly identifiable as a Dodge Charger. On the styling side, we work closely with the product design office, and we established that it would have uh, on the side profile the, uh, the feature that uh, PDO likes to see in the Charger. With that move of the windshield, it has enabled uh, our drivers, they can see the starting line tree uh, all the way from the top, and then going down the track, they can see much further out ahead of them in a sight line, so they really like that aspect. Aerodynamics, as you can imagine, is very critical. So we're coming off of a uh, two-time champion car, and that's something that you just simply can't give up. Now, overall, the downforce on that new body or even existing bodies sees about 10,000 pounds of downforce. The body is being subjected to very significant loads, not only aerodynamic, but the G-forces at the starting line are 5G, and at the end, it's 6, 7, 8G when the parachutes open up. So that body is being subjected to all kinds of forces. And with the new materials we established, with, we improved the durability and the toughness of those materials so you get more runs out of it. We consult with the teams, we consult with experts, but the bottom line is, when it comes to the design of the body, it's done in-house. When it comes to validating the design, it's done in our own wind tunnel. So the technologies, the processes, the human resources, whether it's a production body or a race body, share similar assets. Within a year's time frame, we've been able to get this product out and it will be in production and we will have uh, four cars starting at Pomona in next year's lineup.